Bless us, Saint Veleth, with thy spirit strong, and with thy gift to the world that is Nerevar's dong. In this land so bitter, in this land so cruel, we are grateful for Nerevar's phallic tool. So curse these Nords and their prejudiced craft, and forever deprive them of Nerevar's shaft. In the name of Sunder, Keening, and Wraithguard, we pray. Amen. Hey folks, it is I, Dagoth Ur, God King of Red Mountain, Architect of Akula Khan, Undying Lord Counselor of the House Unmourned, and Emergent Connoisseur of Tamrielic Tourism. It is a frigid, blustery, and frankly Nordic Loretus morning here in Windhelm. And I'll tell you what, I'm out of here. Absolutely wretched city. Holy Veleth, could I use a Kaijit killing palate cleanser. I mean, really. Talk about a mask eye hole opening experience. As you're all aware, I recently decided to visit this frozen latrine of a country for my spring break vacation. Windhelm was my first stop, and by Azura, no amount of prophecy could have prepared me for what I was about to witness in this city. And I say city, with some serious, numidium-sized air quotes bracketed around the word, because this plot of architectural shit is barely the size of your run-of-the-mill Ashlander encampment. And that's not even much of an exaggeration. Go look up a visual comparison of Windhelm and Balmora from a cliff racer's eye view. It's pathetic. These Viking rubes would probably be awestruck by the urban wonders of Sedanin. Veleth's bones, this place wouldn't even warrant a silt strider stop. Let me break down the repugnance of this monument to outlander inferiority in detail. First thing I see when I arrive, Argonians. These things even live in Skyrim now. Most of them work on the waterfront just outside the city because local yokel Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak won't let them through the actual gates. And you know what? I was honestly quite pleased to see such a progressive policy implemented by a settlement beyond Morrowind's borders. So yeah, good on the people of Windhelm for reaching the bare minimum standard of urban cleanliness. Five points to house Stormcloak and all that shit. Keep up the good work and you guys might even reach the point of being considered a village. But that's about where my praise for this cesspit is gonna end, because you guys know how it is with these mead-slurping Nords. One throw to the world step forward, 6,999 throw to the world steps back, am I right? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and address the bull netch in the room straight away. The fucking Grey Quarter. Yeah, I took the side door when I first entered the city, so this repugnant ghetto was the first thing that greeted me after I passed the gates. The Dunmer here are forced to endure the most despairing living conditions Tamriel has yet seen. It is the bottom of the bottom, the worst this frigid land has to offer, all because they see the Dunmer as outsiders to be feared and distrusted. Nothing, and I mean nothing, grinds my Dwemer gears more than prejudice, especially when it's coming from a race as pitiably inferior as the Nords and the persecution of Dunmer kind is woven into the very socio-political fabric of Windhelm. The Jarl does nothing to protect my people from maltreatment, and maltreated they are even in their day-to-day -day interactions with their Nordic neighbors. Let's discuss this cuntbag Rolf Stonefist. Talk about an exemplar of Atmoran filth. This hollow-headed knuckle-dragger drinks more than a slaughterfish, and his anti-Dunmer bigotry is somehow both infuriating and hilarious coming from someone who can barely slur a sentence together. Stonefist. Hmm, yeah, okay. Tough name, how scary. Blasting that pebble-brained peckerhead into Valhalla or whatever they call the afterlife in Skyrim was more satisfying than the endings of Test 4 and 5 combined. Rolf is, or was, the brother of Jarl Ulfric's chromosome-deficient pet gorilla Galmar. Judging by his voice, I assume he smokes about 30 packs of Morthal Malls a day. That's how he blows so much smoke up the Jarl's ass. Holy oblivion. The native-born people of Vardenfell don't even sound that disgusting after spending their entire lives in an ash cloud. Anyway, Go Nod Stonefist has a nasty habit of using the terms blooded and unblooded, which I found deeply offensive and therefore legal justification to turn him into a pile of dust just like his bro. These are the types of assholes Ulfric invites into his court. I really cannot understand why people follow this Stormcloak guy. I mean, okay, sure, he does radiate some serious if he dies, he dies energy, if you're into that sort of thing. But he doesn't bat an eye at the abuse of the Dunmer, and he's constantly giving that whole I fight speech every time someone walks into his room. He's voiced by the cool-looking bad guy from Ironclad, though. 
And I will admit, the first time I heard that entire I fight speech, my Dagoth did feel a little tingly for a second. Still, it's not enough of an excuse to let him continue promoting his hateful ideology. For the sake of the Windhelmian Dunmer, I console commanded him right into the ground. Essential NPC, my ass. Behold the power of Kim, Talos lover. Ulfric's horrendous values had this city and its people all thrown out of whack. Man, I don't even know how to fully describe all the weird shit they've got going on here. For instance, they've got this little child of the corn in the making who's trying to contact the Night Mother through a blood ritual. If you want someone murdered in Morrowind, you just have to hire the Morag Tong like a civilized person. But here you apparently gotta make a sacrifice to Satan. What the fuck is wrong with this place? I also like how just about everyone in the country is aware of what this adolescent psychopath is up to. But nobody cares enough to stop him or try to find out why he's trying to phone a kill cult. Seriously, I'm not kidding you. This is practically public knowledge and almost nobody gives a shit. Hey, what's Aventus Aretino up to in there? Oh, he's fine. He's just forging a blood pact with Beelzebub. Like, what the fuck? Gods, what else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, I remember. They've also got this Gary Ridgeway-ass museum curator who can't leave his home without shanking a passerby. He could put up a sign advertising his kill count and these illiterate Stormcloak guards wouldn't even catch on. Boy, I wonder who the killer is. It couldn't be the unstable incel running the creepy store everybody's afraid to shop in, could it? Holy Lord Nerevar, this city's a dumpster fire. Honestly, the whole stay here was just kind of shitty. It was nice to see Argonians kept out of the town, but aside from that, everything else was just a bummer. The ski slopes were awful. Getting to the top of the nearby mountains requires jumping over and over again like a maniac. The main hotel, Candlehearth Hall, has a stupid name and is full of outlanders. Even the Dunmer here speak with like a weird mix of Cockney and Australian accents for some reason. Like, okay, Todd. I am leaving a poor review of Windhelm and will not be recommending a stay here any time soon, partially because I caused the collapse of the local government by murdering the Jarl. So yeah, I'm heading out into the hills to hunt some Khajiit. I'll be back soon with more updates on my trip, folks. Like and subscribe and all that bullshit and stay tuned for more.